everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different and I'm going to talk about some products that I'm throwing out and the reason why I'm throwing these products out is because they have gone off the expiry date or I just no longer reach for them. So it's going to be a bit of a mixture slash review video and it's mainly going to be foundations I'm throwing out and I also got a skincare product that I'm throwing out as well. So yeah, I usually keep my products in a box that I toss under the table and whenever um, something doesn't work out for me or generally um, if they pass the expiry date, I usually just toss them in a box and I got quite a few products I want to talk about as well so yeah here is my box of products I want to talk about and let's get right into it so the first thing that I am going to show you guys I'm throwing out is a skincare product and this is from Tata Harper and this one is the Tata Harper resurfacing mask for instant glow I actually had this for over a year now so I definitely think it should go but usually I do give some of my makeup and skincare to friends and family but this one I probably wouldn't recommend to um giving out to anyone because it is a natural product and you are meant to only keep it for about six months and I definitely had it for about a year so this is definitely not going um to any of my friends and family but um from what I remember using this mask I think I used it about three times it is a really good mask it's very um good in giving your skin that instant glow like the mask would do and it's very um it kind of goes quite sticky at first and then after about 30 minutes you can just wash it off but yeah um, from what I remember, it was a really good mask. I probably would repurchase it, but it was just something I didn't um, pick up um, every week or so. But yeah, I've got quite a lot of face masks I am using at the moment. So this one is definitely not one of these face masks that I reach for. But yeah, overall, I think it is a good face mask um, for that um, instant glow or that instant complexion booster. But for me, I just wasn't reaching for it. So this one's from Tata Harper. The next product um, I'm going to show you guys are some base products. I got quite a lot of face products I want to show you guys and the first one I want to show you guys is from Laura Mercier and this one is the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish um, Flawless Fluid and I got a shade in Buff if any of you are interested and this is a very beautiful foundation. It's very um, glowy and it's quite it's quite a hard foundation to describe because it's not glowy but it's not matte it's somewhere in between it's more of a demi matte finish but I really hated the applicator I really hate the bottle you have to shake it before you apply it and it just went everywhere I just really don't like the bottle and for me um, the bottle was the least favorite because every time I apply it in the morning it would go everywhere and I definitely would have to do my foundation before I put my clothes on otherwise it will get on your clothes um, but yeah overall applicator wasn't really my favorite but um, the actual product was really really good too so this one's from Laura Mercier the next product I'm throwing out is another base product and this one is from Kiko and this is the Kiko Universal Fit um, Hydrating Foundation I actually got a recommendation um, to get this from Lily Pebbles um, a long long time ago I actually bought this foundation quite a while back but I just wasn't reaching for it and it was quite watery so that's why I didn't really reach for it but I liked it the shade didn't really match me very well because number six that's why I'm in mean, creamy beige is a little bit too light for me and number seven is a little bit too dark so I didn't really want to buy two so this one I have been using with a little bit of bronzer it does work really well but for me it was a little bit too watery and I just didn't really like it so this one's from Kiko the next product I'm throwing out is another product um, that is for your face and this one is from Tarte and this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I actually really enjoyed this, it's a very lovely um, full coverage foundation and it did actually, um, I actually used it for quite a long time, I didn't know what I was trying to say then but I did um, use it for quite a long time but I think I used a um, the powder in the end and I just really prefer um, the foundation powder over this but this one if you are after a medium to full coverage foundation it is a really great foundation but for me I just reach for the powder a bit more because it looked a little bit more flawless and this one can look a little bit cakey if you do go back and reapply as well so this one's from Tarte the next product that um, I am throwing out is one of my favorite products and this is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Youth Boosting Skin Foundation I did really like this I absolutely adored it. It's one of my first Charlotte Tilbury products, so it's definitely over a year old or maybe even two years old. But I've got about 10% of it left, but um, I'm not going to use it up because I have had it for about two years now. And recently I've been quite cautious with what I'm putting on my face, and only because I had a severe allergic reaction. I don't know if you guys can remember, but I did have a severe allergic reaction a few months back, and my face completely swelled up, so I didn't know what it was. So I'm a little bit cautious, that's why I'm doing this video for you guys. But it's generally some products that didn't work out for me, or generally um, products that has passed the expiry date as well. So this is something I had for about two years now, 
and I did really enjoy it. It's a very beautiful dewy foundation and it just gives such a beautiful um, healthy glow to your skin and yeah really really did like it. I probably will repurchase it eventually but I do have quite a few foundations I need to finish up first but yeah this is definitely one of my favourite uh, foundations as well. So this one's from Charlotte Tilbury. The next product I'm throwing out or the last base product I'm throwing out is um, a drugstore product and this is from number seven which is a Boots brand and it's the number seven triple protection tinted moisturiser. I actually bought this maybe about two years ago now. I bought it for holidays but I never ended up using it. It's a very nice foundation but it's very very lightweight so I know it's a tinted moisturiser but usually um, tinted moisturiser does give a little tiny bit of coverage but this one doesn't really cover anything and I didn't really enjoy it. So I'm in a shade in fair I believe or light. Um, let's have a look. I think I'm in a shade there's no way of me telling what shade I am but anyway didn't really enjoy it and it just didn't really work out for me as well so this one's from number seven moving on to some um mascaras I'm for um throwing falling throwing out and this one is from NARS and this is the NARS um audacious mascara I actually bought this mascara back in February or March I think it was February when I launched it um but I think I used it once, I really hated it, I really hated the application, I don't like the bristles and this is what the bristles look like. It's just a really um, weird wand and it's plastic as well which I didn't like, it didn't really coat my lashes, it was very wet the formula and usually I do like NARS products but this one is just not something that um, worked out for me so I probably would end up giving this away to someone else as well so this one's from NARS the next product I'm throwing out is another mascara and this one is um, from Clarins and it's the Clarins Wonder Perfect Mascara I never tried any a lot of makeup products I would say from Clarins I do have a few um, eyeshadows and a blusher that I have from them which I really like but the mascara I thought I'd try um, I ended up picking up the Wonder Perfect because it gave a lot of volume and this is what the one looks like. It's nice but it was quite clumpy. It didn't really coat my lash very well and it didn't really hold a curl. So for me, um, I really, criteria for mascaras for me is holding a curl, lasting all day and pretty black as well. But this one, it was definitely black. Um, it didn't really hold a curl and it wasn't very um durable as well so overall i did really enjoy it um but i didn't enjoy it as much and i definitely had it for over a year now so i should throw it out as well so this one's from clarins i actually got another base product i want to talk about um before moving on to some eye products and this is the bobby brown foundation stick now this is a really weird product because I used it some days I really like it and some days I really hate it and this is the foundation stick now it looks a little bit like this and it's just not something I was reaching for every day um, I actually got the makeup forever um, foundation stick which I use most days and it's a very beautiful foundation and this is pretty similar but the texture of it is super drying and the colour match matches me really well. I'm in number four in natural and usually with Bobbi Brown products I do get on with them gen generally um, but this one was just not something that I reach for every day. It was quite drying and it definitely um, made your dry patches look um, a bit more obvious. So yeah I wasn't reaching for it at all and I wouldn't pick it up again as well. So this is from Bobbi Brown. The last things I am throwing out are some eyeliners and the first eyeliner I am actually throwing out is from YSL and this is the YSL Death and to Regard and I used this on my waterline but towards the end of the eyeliner I just couldn't really sharpen it anymore. I don't know if you guys can see on camera. It just wouldn't really sharpen anymore and every time I sharpen it it would snap and it is a very good eyeliner but I've got about half of it left. I can't actually sharpen it anymore so I'm throwing this out. So yeah, I do recommend this. It is a very lovely eyeliner to use on your waterline. And I've got the shade in number two which is a really nice deep brown. So yeah, I did really like this. And then the second eyeliner I'm throwing out is from Rimmel and this is the Rimmel um, Scandal Eyes Eyeliner in Bronze. I can't actually use this anymore because it just wouldn't really come out in colour and yeah I had this for a very very long time so definitely tossing this and then the final product that I'm going to show you today is a eyeliner from Kiko now I didn't really enjoy this mainly because I didn't like the texture of it it was very hard to um, put on and it just wouldn't drag uh, it would make you um, have to drag the eyeliner across which is not really good and for me I just didn't really enjoy it so this one's from Kiko 
So that's a wrap for me guys for the products I'm throwing out and I hope you all, all enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it like I said and please give it a huge thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and yeah I will see you guys next week for a new video. Bye guys!